Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make a creamy avocado dip. This is gonna be good. So I'm going to make this dip and some of the ingredients you can sub with other things, but here's what I'm using today. Two small avocados. I'm gonna use the juice of probably half of this lime. It depends how juicy this lime is. Here I have Mexican crema. I'm gonna use maybe a half a cup of that. Here I have some pickled carrots and jalapeno. Feel free to just sub it with pickled jalapenos um, if you want it spicier or a fresh jalapeno, that works. I reserve some of the pickling liquid from the carrots and jalapeno. This is a quarter of a cup. Here I'm gonna add some water just to make things move along better in the blender. Salt to taste. I will be adding some fresh cilantro. You could also, if you just don't like cilantro or you taste soap, you can use baby spinach in the mix or just omit it, it'll work. So I'm gonna start prepping, prepping the ingredients and blend it up. Okay, going in with my liquid, my pickled carrots and jalapeno. Let's go with like uh, somewhere between a third cup and a half cup to start. Now I'm gonna take some cilantro. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Should do the trick. I'm gonna start with just, it's salt to taste. Maybe start with a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon. And let's give it a whirl. Okay, so it does need more water. Let's add a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this is right where I want it. And you'll want to taste it for salt, seasoning. And this is just, wow. The carrots, everything is blended just wonderfully. And, you know, taste it for seasoning and salt and you're good to go. It's a dip that goes with chips and today it's going with flautas. And this is an easy version. Here I have over a pound of shredded cooked meat. I actually boiled a three pound chicken the other day for soup dumplings, and this is what was left of the meat. I'm adding salt and pepper to taste, and give it a mix. This will be the filling. You can use a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store or bake your own chicken. It all works. 
So here I've prepped my corn tortillas. I lightly coated them with oil and placed them in the microwave to warm and soften. You could pass them through hot grease on the stovetop as well. Here I have a paste made with water and a little bit of flour. For my gluten-free people, you can use cornstarch. I actually do that most days. I just couldn't find my cornstarch today, so I use flour. So I'm going to take my softened, warmed corn tortilla and I'm going to fill it with my shredded chicken and I'm gonna place it on one side and start to tightly roll it. And that first roll, I like to pull back to keep it into a nice uniform roll. And then before I finish out the roll, I'm going to take some of my flour paste, place it on the end, finish the roll, and place it seam side down on my baking sheet. And as it sets there, the paste will dry and keep the flauta or your taquito in place. And I'm just going to repeat the process. So I have a head start with about 12 to 13 flautas and I do have my shredded chicken left. I can freeze this for later use or just make some more later. But with a three pound chicken that I boiled and shredded the meat, I'm probably gonna be able to get 25 to 30 flautas with that. So now I'm ready to fry these. Here I have preheated oil. You'll wanna bring it up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is going to be a shallow fry. And I'm just gonna place it seam side down into my fry pan, and I probably can get around four or five into this pan. And you're just going to fry these until they are golden brown and crispy on the exterior, and then place them on a baking sheet with a wire rack. And this will help to keep the crispy texture and any residual oil will run off. And I'm going to actually sprinkle this with a little bit of salt. You don't have to do that. And these are ready. So here's my dip. So good. Okay, now to try this. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.